everybody, Scott again, Tourist Trap. I am back at Magic Kingdom again, and I was here earlier in the week, and I uh, was in the parking lot and seen a big RV said uh, Majestic. I thought maybe it might be Adam the Woo, but what? It's the legendary Adam the Woo oh, right here. Hey! Oh my goodness! What's up, man? Hey, Adam. I didn't Adam, see you standing you? there. I'm excellent. What are you up to? I'm just uh, gonna take a little. Um, View around the park and see you know, what's heard, going on. I heard a rumor somebody was telling me that you you resort to cheap tricks in your vlogs. I heard a little rumor. I don't know if that's well, true. Well, you not. know, I never resort to cheap no, tricks. Never. Never. What? What? You cracked your screen. You, uh, did you break your? You broke your camera. Well, no one was hurt, and I think that. Uh, I think I might have got some glass there, on me. You get some glass. You I, call someone to get wait, some. We may need the up. Disney custodial. Adam is trying to find. We're to set up his camera here for the opening show here in the Magic Kingdom this morning. We are going to witness a very neat event about 9.30. Well, me and Adam's getting a little bit of a... Uh, Keep you under shelter. I was wise and I brought my umbrella. I'm thankful for Adam to bring that umbrella because otherwise we're getting all that liquid I mean, you already, yeah, you already broke your camera once. The last thing I want to do is get a waterlogged. <laughs> You know, you don't want you don't want two damages. The insurance companies they don't like well, that. Well, at Disney, it's not rain, Adam. It's liquid pixie dust. Oh, that's true. Yes. Valid point. It is coming down a big down, not not a big downpour, but a little bit of a liquid here on me and Adam today, here in front of. I do not have an umbrella. Adam does. I am getting literally wet, and um, I don't know what they're doing over here in the center. But it does look like some Disney camaraderie here uh, it looks like the yeah I see blue angels uh, with uh, one of the blue angel pilots it does seem to look like walking through they're getting ready to do the fly over here hopefully today I'm not sure if the if the rain is going to stop them we got some birds on a wire on the Tinker Barrel wire up here the rain is starting to stop and the blue skies is starting to pop out hopefully and we will see the Blue Angels fly over the castle. And we are back out in front of the castle. Adam is doing his little intro over here for his vlog. And they are set up here doing some interviews with the Blue Angels. The rain has stopped. The sun is peeking through and coming back out. So it's definitely going to be a good day because we're out there making it a great day. Everyone is lined up here front of the castle awaiting the arrival of the Blue Angels. All the Disney leaders are out here and me and Adam the Woo. That was so super quick. Now me and Adam are going to race over to Main Street to see if we can't get them coming right back up the street. Uh, that was super fast. Uh, when they showed up, he is talking on his camera right now. I'm getting ready to see another flyby coming down the street. Okay, they're over this way. It's, uh, they have moved. I guess they're going to fly back down Main Street again. Here. Here they come. There it is. crowd agrees. The angels, the blue angels soared and this crowd definitely roared. That was absolutely incredible Adam. It was. Two flyovers of the castle. I thought they were going to go up and back. But they went across the castle, they looped around off property and came back over the castle the second time with the, one of those epic wingspan the la shots. And the last time they came back, I, they, it looked like X-wing fighters from awesome. Star Wars. Yeah, it kind of did. And it is awesome. We have decided to climb the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse as we wait for our fast pass for our swashbuckling boat ride through the Pirates of the Caribbean. As you can see, the treehouse there, 
their little water buckets going up pulling water to probably produce electricity I have never seen this this must be a cotton tree it looks like a cotton tree to me you can see the cotton hanging big balls of it from the tree very interesting indeed as you can see this tree is going in all different directions as a man-made tree and you just climb right on up into this tree house and uh, pretty cool if you don't have much to do and um, they might be long lines somewhere else you can see the back side there of the entrance to the tree house with the cotton tree the little windmill going on down here lifting up the water up to the top coming down powering their power I'm assuming this here looks like their kitchen area of their tree house where they ate their meals and things it's pretty cool looking shot here of the buckets going up and down retrieving the water there's water in those going up 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 Somehow, up in that tree house, I've lost Adam the Woo. Uh, I think I see him coming now. Uh, I'm not sure what happened or how we got turned around and he wasn't there. He was behind me. He made me duck down. But we're going to find out here in a minute. I didn't leave him, uh, per se, but I uh, see him coming off the exit. That's very peculiar that... Uh, one minute he's in front of me and then instantly he's disappeared. Well, now we are on our way to Pirates for some swatch buckling fun. I did find Adam. Yes. I don't know what happened. Found me. I don't know how, but you found me. <laughs> but anyways, uh, there might be a wait here, but no wait, no problem for us, right? Fast pass. Fast pass. That's the way to go. And we're at the famous jail scene at the end. Well, how did you enjoy the pirates here? It was nice. I saw I found Jack Sparrow three times in there. He moves it around very quickly. He's, he's never a, in one spot. Yeah, he's very, very fast. All the other pirates, you only see them once per ride or per attraction, but Jack Sparrow's in there three times. He just, he's like the Flash. You know, when we recorded this, we were live, Adam. Oh, we and, were? Uh, you're, we're live right now. Yeah, well, we're live now, but when they yeah. watch this back, you will be trapped in, in the Tourist Traps video oh, forever. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. It's a trap. So is bread at, at a restaurant. That's a trap. What? They, you get filled up on the bread and you don't want no food. It's a trap. Oh, I do the same thing with queso and chips. That's, that's my trap. Good. You're making me hungry. That's I think my, let's get some food. Let's get some food. Well, I've had battles as much fun as I can stand. It, yeah. it, was, a, oh, it was a heavy lunch. And after it was lunch, a lot, it was a lot of food. After lunch, I, I get really tired after lunch. Me too. Uh, it's it's, it's going to take like a little, little cat nap. But, it was really nice to see the Blue Angels go over the awesome. over the over the castle. And, I guess two angles from it. And uh, one from the side and one you, on Main Street. As you can see the sky turned out blue. Yeah. It started out a little bit of rain. It turned yeah. out to be a great day. You want to go out there making a great day because you deserve it. I do. Yes. We all do. We all do. Yeah, not just me. You do too, and everyone. Everyone. That's my philosophy. So go out there and make a great day because you deserve it.